Hey everyone, welcome back to the Rock Lifts channel. When I was a teenager, I had a copy of Van Halen's Right Here, Right Now, which was a live album that was recorded in 1993. That featured a Sammy Hagar song called Give to Live, which was always one of my favorites. In that, he just plays an acoustic and sings, no full band. That recording had a very thin acoustic sound, not like a traditional... Tom Petty or what have you. That always stuck out in my mind and, you know, was that, the Richie Sambora sound, that, that thinner, the thinner 80s hard rock sound really, really grabbed me for some reason. The LTD TL6 really reminds me of that and it's a great modern version of that sound. So today we are going to be reviewing the ESP LTD TL6. 2014 was the first year for the Thin Line series, first known as the ARC series, which stood for Acoustic Resonant Chamber. It came in three models, the ARC 6, ARC 6N for nylon, and ARC 12 as a 12 string. All models featured B-band technology. 2015 saw a name change for the line, which they then became known as the Thin Line series, which we know now. 2016 saw the introduction of the first base, the TL4. Notable colors now available in the TL series are Zebra, Tiger Eye Burst, Purple Sparkle, Spalded Maple, and the one we have today, Aquamarine Burst. Some of the notable features of the LTD TL6 include a set neck with three-piece construction and a thin U-shape, mahogany body, spruce top, Graftech new bone nut, 22 jumbo frets, chrome hardware with Grover tuners, and a Jatoba bridge with a new bone XB saddle. For our playing demo today, I will be playing this straight into a Zoom F6 audio recorder. No amp, no pedals, straight audio. Uh, so that being said, let's get into reviewing the guitar, looking at its parts and specs. Now we're going to check volume on the strings to show the volume on the Paizo pickup. Bass all the way down. bass all the way up. Mm. 
middle all the way down. middle all the way up. Treble all the way down. Treble all the way up. In review, the TL6, if, if you're an old school 80s guy, this guitar is for you. Uh, the faster neck, the thinner body, it, it embodies everything that was Sammy Hagar, Richie Sambora, any of the bands that used that thin acoustic sound on their recordings. Th this is it. I mean, it's more comfortable on stage. Your arm's not wrapping around it as much. It, it's got the cutaway in the back of the neck. It's a great guitar. Once again, this is obviously a biased opinion. Thanks for checking out the video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. I'll see you next time on Rock Lives.